I'm Bing Zhong, and this is Zhan Zhi, aka Sealfit on the internet, and this is Husky. And the, the left hand is Yan Ming Chen, he works in Fongstone now. Uh, basically, we three are working for ISS Taiwan. And I'm happy to have uh, this opportunity to present my little research about uh, uh, what I did in uh, about one and a half years ago. I did a countrywide survey of web, sec web server security in Taiwan. And uh, uh, I did it again about uh, half years ago. And I'm happy to have uh, this chance to present the uh, little comparison between this uh, two surveys. And this is the outline of today's speech. Uh, I will tell you why I do this kind of research, basically because it's uh, fun. And also the methodologies, what I, I, I use in the, in the survey, and little analysis and conclusions. What I, what I do for uh, this kind of survey is uh, one and a half years ago, I, I was writing my master paper uh, in network security. And I, w I like to know the status of the internet security in my country. Because uh, one and a half year years ago, there's some uh, e-commerce uh, site. They are just rising. And uh, on that time, I, I just like to know the how secure is the the web service? Because so many people do the do transaction on the internet. If the uh, the platform is not secure, how can people expect that that their privacy and their information they give the vendors on the internet? Uh, this this information could be stolen by hackers or other criminals. So I I just like to know how secure the the web server is. And this time I did again to compare the uh, the status one and a half year ago and six months ago. I'd like to know, uh, is there significant improvement? Uh, because uh, for uh, less years, there are so many attacks, hackers, hacker event in the, uh, on the internet, such as the DDoS to Yahoo and eBay, and also uh, three months ago, the cyber war between uh, US and mainland China. And this happens after the cyber war, there is some uh, university of the president in Taiwan, and we are very worried about that the China strike Taiwan website because of political issues. So. Uh, we, we did another survey on government website that I can give you the, some uh, static uh, numbers. OK, also I, after my research, I proposed some remedies to government to ask them to set up the policies and the standard to the uh, uh, e-commerce site or any any government uh, agencies who want to attach to the internet. Also, this methodology may apply to other information warfare research. Okay, uh, there is two different ways when we do the network security survey. The first is uh, ways first. That, that means we survey a lot of uh, uh, for single service around the internet in Taiwan. Uh, and also the steps first. That means we want to know uh, the details of security in one, such as companies or campus network. We want the detailed information and all to scan all the vulnerabilities inside the network. And there's uh, two kind of uh, method when we do the this this kind of survey. We ju we can just grab the banners and tell them uh, you are running I IS server and you have uh, this kind of vulnerabilities. Uh, just grabbing the banner, 
or you can use the security scanner such as NASA's or ISS uh, scanners or CyberCop scanners to scan all the vulnerabilities on the server. So what I basic basically what I do is just banner grabbing for the countrywide server, and I sample about 500 servers for the uh, some uh, intrusive tests. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is a methodology I used about one and a half years ago. I do some, this is a goal. We want to do some with security survey. And we have two kind of, uh, there are two factors that affects the the website security. One of one is that the administrator install the vulnerable CGIs. So I did the, this kind of CGI surveys, and I also collect all the vulnerable CGI informations and try to figure out that if the server contains this this kind of vulnerable CGIs. And the other factor is that uh, the the server has some uh, vulnerabilities such as both buffer flows in IS server, and also I co collect all the banners and conclude the conclude the survival rate uh, of the web server. But uh, uh, this is one and a half year ago that I assume that all the administrators didn't apply the proper patch of the uh, and remedies of some uh, of the security related issues and i i figure out that uh, uh, most administrators are not uh, careless of of the security so i what i did uh, basically is to survey the administrators behavior to see if they apply the proper patch of the web server or cgis and I make my conclusion and suggestions. If there's any question, please stop me. Uh, to know how, how serious the, the problem is, we have to classify all the internet attacks. Uh, basically, it's uh, something like uh, Unix command, rewrite, execution, the permissions, and the security information that uh, the hacker can gather and know what the what the internal configuration of the web server is. This is security information leakage. Also, some s servers has a denial service problems. They was uh, acquired all the essential uh, resource of the web server and cause the cause the downgrade of the uh, internet service or just uh, stop them. And some uh, some people install some uh, SOC server or proxy server that will relay the in internet attack uh, for uh, from the hackers, such as finger D. And uh, proxy server, SOX5 servers, they, they all have the same problem if you don't apply the access control list to them. And some, uh, some security vulnerabilities cause the remote file access includes a remote file read that uh, the hacker will know the internal configuration of your server or other services. And Remote file write is more serious because uh, the attacker can uh, simply just modify your configuration file and uh, ch change the server to whatever he wants. Also, there's some remote file, remote command execution. Uh, 
everybody knows the ISS uh, IS worms uh, three months ago. That is a sample of remote, remote command execution that echoes the uh, patterns to the to your home page. Uh, this differs to to different uh, categories that uh, will cause the attacker get the user shell or the get uh, administrator shell. And the most uh, serious one is that uh, the attacker has already compromised the system and pr and change the uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> and ch and plan the install the backdoor in the system that they can easily access the system uh, in the future or the administrator are so careless that execute the Trojan host such as uh, back office or other sub seven this kind of backdoors that the the attacker can easily just get the full control of your system. <clears throat> Why I do this classification? Because I just want to uh, build a quantitative model when we do a, a network assessment. This may be helpful if you want to do this kind of uh, survey. Yes, please. Okay, uh, there are many uh, security information on the internet. I just what I do is basically collect uh, all the security related information about web server in security focus or other mailing lists. Oh no. Basically, because uh, ISS in Taiwan is not working so close to uh, USA, ISS USA. Yep. And I started uh, two years ago. I'm not working in ISS yet. So, what I do is basically grabbing all the information on the internet. Okay, this is a sample that we can uh, know what the web server you are using. What I use is a head method that uh, most of the IDS now uh, will will cause the alert, alert of uh, this IDS because head is not uh, not uh, that common in on the web browsing, and we can see the server. It is running Apache, and all the extensions were listed uh, behind behind the web server. <coughs> and this is an example that uh, we can find out whether the CGI exists on the on the remote web server. We can just simply get the the CGIs. By the HTTP 1.0 method, and if if the if you fail to get the if you got 200 OK, it it means that uh, the CGI do exist on the remote server. If you got a uh, 404 not found, well, it means no, uh, the the CGI is not installed on remote server. Also, you can get some extra information from the CGIs, such as the uh, uh, server environment or etc. And this is the uh, uh, subject I I have surveyed in this year, and I do some remote uh, reverse lookup on the <coughs> re reverse lookup uh, for the domain name, make sure that uh, they are. In some in dot com dot edu dot net dot org or dot yeah this is uh these servers are uh, all in Taiwan because I I think I I don't want to get uh, into the international travel 
Yeah. And amazingly, I find that uh, about 60% uh, of the the servers don't have the FQDN. Uh, well, some some people some people just say it's not a good idea to have a FQDN because you you post the more information to the attacker. But uh, in the in some incident response uh, point of view, it is more easy to to know. Uh, where the where the uh, who the server belong to, and you got the contact information to the remote remote site. And I randomly select the IPs in in uh, Taiwan network. <coughs> and there's about uh, uh, 140,000 with server in Taiwan uh, two years ago. And I just randomly select uh, some of them in this survey. Okay, it's probably because they don't have the uh, reverse lookup FQDNs, yeah. Because most of the education, education uh, domains and government domain, uh, education domains, they have uh, uh, built FQDN two years ago, and also the .NET. Yeah, and I, I guess most of the dot com, dot com falls into the not verified part. And I choose the first. I choose these four CGIs because they are there are some t time sequence. And f first, be, uh, first I begin the research, and I I just like to know if there's some trend that. Uh, uh, as the time goes by, maybe the security information is more common to the administrators, and they know how to how to apply the proper patches to the CGIs or remove the CGIs. And uh, and after I complete this survey, I just f figure out that uh, this is not uh, objective to to select these four CGIs because they are not. Uh, uh, Correlated, and com uh, comparing these these CGIs are meaningless. I pick these four C uh, four well-known vulnerabilities such as MSADC, Cobras, and Cobras Two. These uh, three CGIs can. Uh, can, will cause the attacker to to view the uh, all the yeah. view and execution all the C, uh, command or CGI's uh, no SP SP files or any any kind of files on the remote site and ISS IS Unicode is a remote buffer flow that will. Yeah, that will cause the attacker to execute uh, any command on the remote site. And this is uh, the web server survey from the netcraft.com. Probably uh, many of you know this this institute do the continuous uh, survey for the servers on the web server on the internet. Then we see the most of the servers on the internet run the Apache server. And this is, uh, but in, I think in most Asia countries, they are not uh, running uh, Apache. 
they are choosing IS server from Microsoft because it's cheaper and the hardware is how is cheaper too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because most uh, most uh, uh, majors in Taiwan or in Asia country, they uh, they just trust the Microsoft and. If you if you tell them why don't you run Linux FreeBSD with Apache server, they will tell you that they never had heard of that. They don't trust the the vendor. Yeah, it's it's weird, but uh, it's the it's the truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, what do you mean? Well, uh, in some part of uh, in many China, yes, in some of uh, Asia country, probably, yeah. And also because of the such as Solaris, the the price is I think it's more. Uh, I think Microsoft is cheaper than Solaris. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so this is a web server in Taiwan. Uh, about 50% of them is running NT or Windows 2000 with I I server. And about 25% uh, 20, of them is Apache server. Oh, shit. Yeah, and this is uh, the result of the sample that I I do in this January. Uh, I didn't include the web server version in in this information leakage. I just focus on the core browse and the MSADC. This kind of uh, Vulnerability that will show the code or the files in remote server. And I have a complete list for these this vulnerabilities in my paper, but it's, it, it is written in Chinese, but, so I, I don't think you guys have the uh, interest to, to read, this, uh, read Chinese papers. And amazingly, about 60 60 percent of the IS web server has uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, this is for the uh, only web web banner banner grabbing. Sorry, I'm a little nervous because I've never speak to so many people before. Yeah. Yeah, because all the information I gather that is IS, IS servers 4.0, 3.0, and 5.0, they all have the vulnerability that will get the remote root. Yeah, but uh, you have to you have to survey the patch behavior from the from the administrator because if you do just default install and didn't in install any patch. They do have vulnerabilities, yeah. Uh, in this survey, I didn't use them. I just grabbed the banners. Yeah. 
and this is uh, for vulnerabilities. Uh, basically, I, I don't think the Unicode is CGI problem. Okay. And this this is the four uh, CGIs I do, I I survey in this this research. And I I give the uh, this vulnerability name and description in the slide, and also the publish date. And I randomly choose the 500 server uh, in in the Taiwan web server, and find out and uh, and try to find out how many how many of them has a. Uh, uh, vulnerable CGI's. And what I do basically is from the from the sample of the, all the all the servers I surveyed, and I choose randomly choose five hundred of them. And <coughs> and from. Uh, from these 500, I choose another 30 of them to to see if the CGIs are really vulnerable or uh, some you know some servers just can fake information that uh, give you 200 OK even if they don't have these CGIs on the on the web server and the. Uh, <coughs> You see the star here because uh, most of uh, some of the administrator didn't use the default install of the MSADC uh, IS server. I think uh, we find eleven eleven of them are vulnerable to this this kind of tech. But uh, I think we if we have enough information or we try we try uh, some other default path uh, the. The eleven, uh, the eleven servers, maybe twenty of them or twenty-five of them. Uh, we didn't have uh, enough time to to try all the possible uh, folders on the remote side. As we can see, the uh, <coughs> ninety-nine out of one hundred twenty. That means uh, eighty eighty-two. 0.5 percentage of the uh, CGIs are vulnerable. So I think the administrator didn't pay a lot of pay enough attention uh, on the security because they didn't uh, apply the proper patch of the remote server. And here's the conclusion. Uh, Uh, the most important is about five, uh, fifty percent, five, fifty-five percent of the remote uh, web server can may grant the root access uh, to to the attacker. And I do some uh, comparison between uh, two thousand and two thousand one, and I didn't see a significant improvement of the security o overview. And probably because of the uh, environment change, uh, when I do the research on uh, year 2000, uh, the Apache server and IS server is about one to one. Uh, fifth, uh, Forty percent of the Apache server and forty percent of IS server. And in this year, we can see that. Uh, Okay, uh, in this, 
in, in the survey in Y2K, the information leakage about uh, 45. And the uh, uh, 2001 is about 33% that will uh, reveal your code to remote uh, remote attacker. And as for the denial series, 20, about 25 in year 2000 and 30, uh, 34 in year 2000, uh, 2001. As for the uh, unauthorized remote access, including remote user share and, and remote uh, sorry, remote file read and remote file write is uh, 34 percent in year 2000 and 33 in year 2001, and these these data are uh, very close and and didn't see the didn't see any significant different between the these two year, and but uh, for the administrators privilege that will pose the attacker can uh, execute any command in administrator's privilege. In year 2000 is uh, f about 45 percent and in 2001 is about 55. So I think I don't think the web server is more secure in Taiwan for uh, two years. And I'm going to make my conclusion on the presentation about the web server. Um, I think FQDN is important to internet infrastructure when we do some incident response. Uh, the percentage of the available uh, FQDNs is less than 40 percent. So I think there's a lot of room for improvement. As for the CGI surveys, I think many administrators just didn't pay uh, enough atten attention on the all the vulnerability information that uh, they didn't remove the vulnerable CGI or they didn't apply the proper patch to the CGIs. About administrator behavior, I just want to know if they are too stupid or too lazy. Yeah. If they are too too, stu too stupid, we can uh, do some education to let them know your your server has problem. There is problem in your server. Yeah. If they are too lazy, we can set up the standard or uh, s o p s that uh, uh, as the companies to set up the proper policy for their server security. Yeah, I find out that uh, most of the administrators are not uh, care care of the care about the internet security, and I I think it's m more important to let them know uh, what 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 the problem in their servers. So I propose to the government that we should set up the uh, education course to the uh, administrators.